Gentlemen, I hereby call this meeting of the Lower Tarrytown's Men's Rights Advocates Association to order. Thanks for meeting online again, guys. Those fascists at Dick's Sporting Goods won't let us use the stockroom till we get vaccinated, which we're not gonna do, right? Yeah. I'm not no, that, that seems gonna make me wanna buy a Zoom. Uh, Bill, will you start us off by reading the minutes from the last meeting? Oh, certainly, Jake. Uh, last week, we spent the bulk of time discussing how much better women's sports would be if they just dressed sexier. And uh, then we admired Jake's new Punisher logo vape. Enough! Gary! Now, hold on now, Charles. We all know the rules. Whoever is the most aggrieved and violently angry gets to have the floor. Of course. Though, as a man, I am never sorry for anything that I do. I will cede the floor to you. Gary. Fellas, I heard something today that made my blood boil. I was driving little Gary Jr. home and he asked me to stop so he could go pee. Can you believe that? Now, I think we can all agree that every single thing that makes us as men angry is worth raging about. Remember when I ran over my coffee maker because I had a woman's voice? But, uh... Doesn't this seem a little small? Small? These are the moments when we can teach our boys how to be men. Gary Jr. doesn't have to take a pee pee from his wee wee. Gary Jr. needs to take a piss from his dick. And that's not the only thing. Oh, good. I knew Gary would have other stuff. Later that evening, when we were having dinner, Gary Jr. got up from the table to be excused. Did he forget to ask to be excused? Gary Jr. would never do that. But when he got up, he said he had to take a poo-poo from his bum-bum. Gary, again, I know that we here take complaints seriously. You know, hell, we were right there with Charles when he tried to get that barista fired for not going out with him, even though she was nice every time he ordered. I'm still thankful for that. But what is Gary Jr.? Five? He's three! And he needs to know that a man doesn't take a poo-poo. A man takes a big giant crap from his rectum. You mean take a shit? Damn it, he's three. I don't want him using dirty words. Okay, but... And that's not the only thing. Awesome. I, I knew there'd be more. Gary wouldn't waste our time with this. When he eventually got up, he said he had to go to the little boy's room. What did you want him to say? A man says he's going to go remodel that deuce closet with his wang stream and ass missiles. Do you talk like this when you go out to dinner? You're goddamn right I do. Oh, well, that's why we can't have our meetings at that Applebee's anymore. Oh, that soft cancel culture snowflake corporation that bows to Big Potty. You know, I've never liked their bathroom signs. Those signs should just be one big set of tits and another giant pair of balls. That's not really equivalent. You know what? If you so-called men can't see this for the crisis that it is, I don't know what to tell you. Y'all can kiss my fudge-flinging Hershey howitzer. I'm out. Wow. Is that what we sound like to other people? Should we stop doing this and maybe, I don't know, get some help or something? Nah. <laughs> <laughs>